19,000 of you guys are returning to watch the videos but aren't subscribed. What's going on? When I say these discs are wild, I literally mean it. The company's called Wild Discs. And 5% of all proceeds goes towards the wildlife conservation, which is to help the endangered and vulnerable species. Species. Uh, which is why all their discs are named after animals. So I posted all these on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me over there, give your boy a follow. Just to show you guys real quick what the discs are and then I'll go into more detail as we play. The sea otter as a putting putter. The sea otter and a throwing putter. Tasmanian devil. The hyena. The angler. The addicts. And the great white. This might go in my bag just because of how sick it looks. I don't think I've ever had a metal flake blue disc before. Hole one, par three, 500 feet. Great white is up first. 13.5, negative one, three. This is in their meteor plastic, which is metal flake. Dude, it's got a little pop top on them. Hey, the rim is pretty thick. Like, I feel like I am holding on to something. I can't wait to throw it. Here we go, here we go. Stable. She's stable. Gotta go two off the tee, so I'm gonna throw the hyena now, a nine five, negative two two. This is their lava plastic, which is pretty much like star plastic, thinner rim on it. Guessing there's gonna be some turn to it and have a nice finish back. All right, I underestimated the uh, flip on that. I might have to throw a little roller with that. I forgot my box of discs. Maybe a hundred feet short of the pin, throwing the sea otter, which is their nuclear plastic. This thing glows. I'll add a picture or a video of this thing glowing. Yeah, about that. Uh, <laughs> just, you'll, you'll see in the video. Oh! That would have been a great way to start. All right, same disc. This is Colbert Allen sea otter. It's in the landslide plastic, which is their base plastic, just the... Uh, Nice, somewhat gummy, a little firm. Hole two, 300 feet. I'm gonna throw the sea otter off the tee. Again, it's in that nuclear glow plastic. Two, three, zero, two. So it should be pretty straight flying. I always tend to hang out over there by that bush. Hole three, 350 feet uphill, sitting on top of this little plateau. I wanna give the hyena another try. I feel like this hole shapes up nice for it. I'm gonna put it up on hyzer left side and just have it drift right the whole way. Well, the plan worked, but it's just flippy. Okay, it's actually not as bad as I thought. Maybe 40 feet away. That putter feels good, dude. Hyena is a little too flippy for me. Doesn't make it a bad disc. I just don't think like an advanced level or up would get much use out of this. However, I do think like a rec or intermediate player could use a disc like this simply because of the glide and turn on it. Just feel like easy distance. That's what I was looking for when I was starting off. Just those nice flippy discs. Tasmanian Devil 9404. This is the lava flare plastic, which is just like their burst, that colorful plastic. I'm assuming this is gonna be similar to a Firebird just based off the ratings. Hole four, 380 feet. This is gonna take a full pump and I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty stable. Yep. Dude, they, they don't mess around with the stability. That's why I'm so shocked at the hyena. All right, this one's an actual jump putt. I'm probably 60 feet away and OB's like 10 feet behind it, but we're running it. Oh no. We're good. All right, so this is the disc that I was actually really excited to throw. It's the Attics, which is a 5501. You know your boy loves some straight flying mid ranges. The Ozone Plastic, which is like their sea line or champion like plastic. 280 feet, and I am not leaving it short. Oh, please do it. Please do it. <laughs> Real quick bonus shot. I just want to compare these two to see if they fly the same baseline versus more of their top shelf plastic. I think I hit the lock. Now we got the base plastic. You can definitely tell. Yeah, you can definitely tell the base is more straight versus that top shelf nuclear plastic. I like them. Not a bad grouping. I oh, almost missed that. No forehands yet, so making the forehand debut. Chip shot in the woods, 212 feet. Tasmanian Devil. Oh, I hit a stump. All right, bonus shot. I think this disc actually sets up a little bit better. 4303, it's the angler and that meteor plastic. 
Not a lot of glide, some nice stability. More for an actual 212 foot shot. It's a lot better, but I'm still taking the double. The Tasmanian one to be more specific. That's the stump I hit. And then now we're over here chilling by this stump. We are on a heater right now. So typically the basket's way off to the right, but this time they've moved it into the short pin position. You're pretty much throwing a straight shot out there flat and then having the disc work to the left. It's only 282 feet. I'm going with the angler as my actual drive this time. Oh my gosh. That thing is beef. All these discs are so stable and then the hyena is like, nah. Okay, I definitely left this a lot shorter than I wanted to. And I'm in this ugly dead bush. Bank off of it. Oh, I was hoping it hit the tree. All right, I'm definitely gonna want that one back. Tasmanian devil on the forehand again. Give me a skip, 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 skip. Yes, sir. Oh, it just skipped up, didn't even. I'm like circle two. Dude, hole 16 is gonna look so nice. The water's up. I'm gonna unload every single one of these discs on that hole and just see which ones do and don't survive. So be sure to stay for that. Ah! Fun fact, Wild Discs started in 2020 and they actually teamed up with MVP to kind of do some of their first run discs. And you can kind of tell with this as far as the burst and they've got the little sticker, just little MVP vibes. Feels very good. Not throwing it though. I'm throwing the Great White again, hole nine, 525 feet. I've got to hit the gap and probably release this on a little bit of Anheuser just because uh, it's very stable. Oh no. Oh, that's actually not bad. We're in the fairway. This is going to be tough. All right, we might be able to do a little ghetto catch cam action on this. Okay, let's go look. <sighs> Pretty short. Definitely not the putt you want for par. Oh no. Definitely not the putt you want to have for bogey either. A five? Okay, not the best way to end the front nine, but it's back nine snack time. Hold 10, 350 feet. This is my last chance to make the hyena work. Just gonna throw this crazy high in the air and get into circle one, hopefully. Pan out, pan out, pan out, pan out. Oh my gosh, that was literally almost perfect. Oh, why are trees? All right, I need to land on that rock. Then leave it short. Hole 11, 260 feet. I'm gonna go forehand down the left gap with the angler. I know this is stable. I've got to trust it. Oh, I trusted it. Go in the basket. Oh, that was so close. Hole 12 down a tunnel, 366 feet. Unfortunately, they don't have like a straight flying fairway just yet. I think I can get the attics there. It's gonna take a full pump, but I think we can do it. Oh yeah. Who needs a straight flying fairway? Yo, that was pork. Yes, sir. <laughs> Island hole is coming up, but one hole at a time. Hole 13, 280 feet. Cole, if I ace this, will you sign my desk? Go in. Oh, oh my God. I'm getting dialed in with these things. 280 feet straight shot. Again, Cole, if I ace this, sign the disc. Not this one though, cause it's black and the Sharpie probably won't sign up, but just maybe the other one. Oh, that was hideous. Oh, that was a good branch. Ah! All right, now I'm just getting for real though. I gotta pick all this up. 18,321 feet. I'm going down the right gap with the attics. Fun fact, I don't even know what an attics is or if I'm even pronouncing that correctly, but you can go on the Wild Disc website and under each of their discs, they'll give you fun facts about the animals and where they're from and whatnot. That was a cool little feature. Oh, just get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. I'm gonna have another death putt. All right, so you guys know that I love throwing the Mako 3. No, this is not gonna replace it, but I think it's an actual good compliment to it. My Mako 3 is like flat to understable, whereas this is more flat to stable. Like it actually has a nice finish to it. Out of all these discs, this one might actually make the bag. Oh, we're not gonna touch metal? 
I gotta bring you guys with me? <laughs> now we're on to hole 16. Moment of truth. Which one of these discs do not survive? They filled this thing up to the rim. Taking the Tasmanian Devil as far as score, everything else, we'll see. Let's go in. Where I've gotten so close so many times. Now we got the attics. We're on the island. All right, two for two. The angler. I gotta eat this thing. I'm gonna nail one of those birds. Edge of circle one. Great white. He belongs in the water, but I hope he's a land shark today. Boy, I trusted that thing. Circle one. Now we got the two putters, my favorite shots to throw on this hole. Oh no! Get down, 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 get down. Get down. Let's try that again. Oh, that was, that was extra safe. Mentally, I was like, oh my gosh, if I lose this, I won't have a putter. Now for this cat. What do we do here? Super soft hyzer flip. We got a headwind. I, I guess we just hope. Get across! Okay, cool, we're good. Dude, okay. Every time I've thrown that, it flips quick, but then like as soon as it topples over, you can tell that it's trying to fight back out. Very weird, never throwing it again. Cloudy right now. I'll come back and get it. I'll keep y'all updated on Mr. Otter. That guy's barely on. He made it. That one made it. Those two made it. And then the hyena is just like big chilling way over there. RIP Mr. Otter, you will be missed. Although I still have this one. Well, 17, 310 feet downhill. That otter showing out now. Seven down, ending this on a par four. Wild Discs and Micah, thank you guys so much for sending me this stuff to try out. When I first started playing disc golf, I thought it'd be so cool to have these companies send you stuff to try out and it's happening. The stars are aligning. Thank you guys very much. Ending this on a forehand bomb and I'm gonna have to throw this like a baseball. This dude is beef. I literally, I think I literally threw that like a baseball. If you like beefy like drivers, that uh, Metal Flake Shark, you will not be disappointed. I feel like I've been in this spot the last five times I've been here. Left of the Mando, baskets off to the right. Skip Flare with the Tasmanian Devil. Skip! That's a punt. Chain's messed up, but I'm feeling confident. Eight down, baby. Eight. 